give a little introduction to Introduction to Museology, which is a free course offered by the Save Cultural Heritage Group. My name is Emily Scott. I'm going to be your mentor for this course. Um, just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I come from a background of museums. I've been working in museums in different capacities for the past two years. Um, I have a master's degree in museum studies and I have a master's degree in English. My experience in museums is largely Canadian since a lot of my work tones have been here in Canada. Um, I worked at the Souk Region Museum last year, which is a local museum uh, that specializes in local history of that region. And now I work in Victoria, which is where I studied. So I will put that little disclaimer. Um, my perspective is very North American and Canadian, but I did do my work term for my museum studies degree and I did study in the UK, in Scotland. So I did an exhibit at the Museum of Scottish Lighthouses. So I hope to bring that experience to this, to this project as well. Um, I also will say that my experience in museums is, is very guided by academia. I studied, I did my master's degrees before I went into museums. So maybe that will help in a teaching perspective as well. That's actually my favorite part about museums is that it can be applied to any kind of discipline. Um, there's obviously history, but there's science museums as well. There's art. So everything kind of combines in museums. And I think this is what's really interesting when you go into museum studies. You don't need to be in a, a you know, cultural degree or you don't need to have a history degree. I came from an English degree and I found my way into museums. I'm going to be approaching the teaching of this course as not just an introduction to museology, but also an introduction to museum studies as a field of practice. Um, just to give you a quick definition right now, museum studies is defined as the science or practice of organizing, arranging, and managing museums. Obviously, that's a bit short, so by the end of this course, I hope you'll have a better understanding of what museum studies is and kind of where it can take you. Um, in this course, we'll be discussing introductory topics such as what is museum studies and how is it different from archival or library studies. I know from my experience as a museum studies student and as a museum professional that I often get questions about what I do and how it correlates with archival or library studies. I actually recent, recently had an interview where somebody asked me that exact question, what's the difference between museums and archives? And as a museum professional, you kind of have to know the answers to that. So I'll hopefully be helping you guys understand that answer too. Um, I'll also be approaching questions such as, how have museums evolved over the years? Um, from ancient libraries to current online museum collections. I think it's really important in 2021 that we talk about how, how important online collections are and how we need to have access to this information when we can't travel as readily as we may have in the past. Um, I will also be approaching more broad and perhaps personal approaches to museums, such as how can you enrich your museum experience and how are national museums different in every country and how are they the same? Things like that. Um, we'll also not just look at physical museums, but how we can broaden the understanding of museums, such as, you know, transportable museums, how you can put these topics in the real world. I think it's really important to understand that museums aren't just a physical place, but they're like a concept as well. This is really theoretical, but I hope by the end of this course, these ideas will become more understandable to you. I will be using your input to move forward in this course. I'll be asking questions such as, what is your favorite museum and what is your favorite artifact? I think this kind of approach will help make the course more personal and more engaging because I know how online courses can be. They can be difficult sometimes without that personal interaction. Um, I'll also be posting introductory readings on the Google Classrooms. Everything will be available on Google Classrooms, including my email if you have personal questions or if you want more information, I'm always available for that kind of thing. Um, so the first official class starts on August 1st, but before that, I encourage you, like I said, to think about your favorite museum, your favorite artifact, because I think um, a good approach to museums is to think about 
preconceptions that people have about museums and how that can guide your experience as a visitor and as a curator. We'll be looking at those two perspectives. So I'm really excited and looking forward to seeing you on August 